guys. I made this card a few weeks ago and I was planning on making a video for it because it's really cool. I'll show you in just a second what it does. But one of the main things on this card is dies that are on sale through tomorrow, uh, Friday, November 18th. Okay, so I saw this type of card on another demos site and um, I believe she was French. And so the measurements, obviously, since she's French, it's in the metric system. And I try to convert them into inches and all that and it just, uh, you know, I'm not great at math. <laughs> so I decided I'm just going to sit down, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just going to try and figure out what dimensions I want. So that's what I did. And what this is called, what I call it is a two-fold card. Okay. So open it up. <gasps> Ta-da! A gift card. It's a gift card holder card. Um, I don't know about y'all, but Gift cards are huge in my family now, not just for Christmas and holidays, but also birthdays. My kids are all, you know, teenagers. My sister's kids are pretty much all adults, um, young adults. Um, but it's, you know, you're, you're not buying toys and stuffed animals and things like that. So I, I just thought this was such a good idea. And plus, there's lots of people that you give presents to, you know, your hairdresser or the UPS guy or something and something like this that has like a gift card in it would be great. You could put other stuff in here. You could put cash in there. Um, there's all kinds of things. But the die for that is the mini pocket die. This right here. Okay. This is in the main catalog, the annual catalog, the big one. So um, that means this is on sale, 20% off. That's huge. This is a big sale for Stampin' Up, um, it, but it's only good through tomorrow, okay? So I just, I, that's why I'm making the video sooner than I thought. So that, um, I love this card. Um, I, I've had some classes and people saw this and they were, and everybody was like, that is such, I love that card, it's so pretty, it's so cute, you know? And, you know, for me, that's my, that's my puppy. That's what you hear right now. <laughs> but so, you know, so many cards I make are um, more complicated. And, you know, and I like doing that, but it's really fun to, this is almost like an old fashioned type of card. And I just, and I love it. It would, it would be pretty like displayed or something. But, um, so here's one, the, the, this is one of them. Um, here's another one. This is with Santa. And there's the pocket there. So cute. Uh, Santa and Santa's train is retiring. So all, all this paper is retiring. This is the candy cane stuff. All its paper and everything. That's all retiring um, from the mini catalog. And then I did this one. Um, this is a, a wash with beauty. I think it's what it's called. It's in the main catalog. It's got some of the prettiest paper I've ever seen in my life. But I did this one a little different. But look, the paper is just so pretty. So you could use this for, like like, like I said, lots of cards. Uh, holiday cards, Christmas cards, uh, birthday cards, thank you cards, uh, you know, anything. So um, it's, it's really easy. It's really simple. I will have a PDF that shows the measurements and everything, but we'll do the measurements in, um, in this video. So I'm going to make it a little different. I'm not going to do one of these. I'm just going to make it a little different and I'm going to make the fold, uh, a little different. You'll see what I mean. The dimensions for all three of these cards are all the same. It's just how you want that to, to open. Okay. So let me get everything, um, that we're going to use and we'll get started okay so here's my instructions i'll have that like i said on my website um, where you can print it um, i'm going to do a similar card like the uh candy cane one i'm going to do some candy canes but a little different um the candy canes that this was not stamped um it's the paper that's that coordinates with it there's a a million different ones and so the ones I decided to use for this one are these that is garden green and pool party so I thought I'll just make a card a little different than your traditional you know red and green I'm gonna do blue and green okay so 
Your base is eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then the, 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 the smaller piece is eight and a half by three, okay? So what we're gonna first do is we're gonna um, score it. Mm. Here it is. Okay. All right, so the big piece, eight and a quarter by four and a quarter, we are gonna score that at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. Okay, then for the smaller piece, we are gonna score it at four and a quarter. We're doing this one in half. The big one, you're not doing it in half. Okay, so there we go. That's the first step. Okay. So this also, the instructions also have um, what size for the paper that you're gonna have on there. Um, this one, I'm gonna do this one different. Let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one different. Like I said, all the same size, same measurements. This paper, um, the trees and the snowflakes, this is from the Gnomes DSP, which everybody loves the Gnomes. The paper's really pretty too. I think that looks cute. It's very different. And then this goes there, and then this will go in this way. And I've got a piece of uh, pool party here. This is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth, and I'm going to emboss it. That's how I did this one, and let's see if you can see it. Mm. Let's see, yeah, there you go. See the embossing on there? So cute. Is um, this embossing, this is the Wintry 3D embossing folder. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. Embossing folders, hey, embossing folders are also 20% off. Embossing folders change the paper dramatically. I mean, I say that all the time. Embossing folders are not super expensive and you go from a plain piece of uh, paper into that. I mean, it just, it changes it so much and I just think that's really cool. Okay. All right. I just changed, I, I know I've been telling you all this, I've changed my room a little bit and I need to do a video of that. It probably, won't be until, I don't know, gosh, it's almost Thanksgiving. It'll be soon. I, I just changed a few things in here. Um, obviously my cabinets and everything still the same, um, but just a little different. Okay. Oh, that's a way more, way more, uh, glue than I usually use, but that's okay. Okay. I just think that was so cute. See, there's the gnomes on the back of it. Little gnomes. Here. 
sorry, I can't really see. My Christmas wish list has a new holder for my phone so I can get my videos a little better. Everything on my wish list for Christmas has something to do with my stamp stuff. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty cute. Okay, so we got that. What we are going to do. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this part on. So I'm gonna glue the back of it. And I keep it closed, even though we know it opens, we're not gluing it shut. I'm gonna put it in the middle, like as best as I can think. I mean, it might not be perfect, but it look good enough. There you go, look at that. You can have it open the other way. So cute. Okay, so we are going to, now on this one, you see that cute little bow that's around the candy canes? That's from the mini pocket dies. This right here and this, that's for a bow. Isn't that so cute? I mean, this thing is really, really cool. I mean, you can use it for lots of things. You can use it, you can make gift tags out of this, like a pocket and uh, put a hole in it. And I, I mean, it, you could use it for so many things. I'm gonna make my pocket also with pool party so what I'm gonna use here is this die this is the pocket die okay I always like to see Christmas cards that don't have real traditional colors I, I just kind of like that I mean, this isn't very untraditional. It's, you know, I mean, I've made other cards that that are all pink and, you know, I don't know. I just, I think it's cool to um, have cards that are a little different. So let's see. Yeah, you can see when you die cut it, it gives you score lines, okay? So let me... Just had a class, so some of my stuff is still sitting in my my kitchen table where I had my class. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my bone folder to really make sure it's as flat as I can get. and then you like that I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put paper on that I don't know what yet something on top of it to make sure it stays put. It's one thing blocks are really good for, just to stick it on there, make sure it, because obviously cardstock is thick, so you want that to. All right, I just, oh my gosh, I like really like this. And, I really, really like it. I don't think I'm gonna put a bow on this one. I've got something else I'm gonna try. Oh my 
God, that isn't that cute? So cute. Okay, let me um, figure out what I'm gonna put on top of it and then and the paper that I'm gonna put on top of the gift card holder. Okay, I'm gonna just use the same color of paper. Um, I just measured the pocket to see what size I wanted and I came up with um, three and an eighth by two and three eighths. You could do something else to this. I did a card, I had a video on it. It was a with the apple harvest and it was like a thanks card that would have been perfect for like a uh, teacher. And I did, I did one of these pockets and after I die cut it, I, I put an embossing folder on it and embossed it, you know, kind of like how you do this, but you could, you could do that too. You wouldn't have to have paper on it. Okay. See how easy this is? I mean, I, I could use this for lots of gifts. And these cards are just so pretty. And then, so then you have this space here that that's where you could, um, you could write. All right, so I was trying to do a card, a shaker card with the candy canes. It did not work. I, I finally got, I think I could eventually get it right, but it just got to the point where I was like, never mind, I'm done. <laughs> so I had done this sentiment, um, Christmas cheer that's from the candy canes. Okay, it's from the Sweet Candy Cane stamp set, right there, Christmas cheer. And then I die cut it with this die right here, which this is the die that makes the gnomes dance and the witches dance and all that. So really cool. These are retiring. Um, but like I said, and I have the this iridescent ribbon that's also retiring. I just look, don't you think that looks really cute? So I'm, I'm gonna use that. Let's see how that looks. See this card, it goes, it's, it's easy. Mm. All right. Lots of dimensionals. You can never go wrong with dimensionals. And I believe that. I use this stuff all the time. It, or it had adhesive on it, or dimensionals on it. You could see like the, sh it was, you know, when I was trying to make the card that I don't even really want to talk about. <laughs> it, it was frustrating. I'm sure many of you have had that where you get some idea and then you just never can make it work. All right. Well, I am pretty excited about this card <laughs> because I, I think I like it better than this one. I mean, they're just totally different, but just a very, I don't know, very cool. And it opens the opposite way, if you understand. Like this, here, where's my other? Uh, oh, here it is. These open this way. This one opens that way, see? And then this one opens this way. So you could do it, you could flip this and do it that way. So lots of different options. Um, very cool and I just, I, I just, like I said, I, I came up with this idea a while ago but I've been super busy and so I was like, oh, I'll make the card next week which is Thanksgiving week. I was like, I'll make the card next week because you know, things have kind of calmed down with between my kids and what's going on with them and everything. Everything's kind of calmed down for a little while. Um, but then when the sale came out, these dies are really, really good. Um, and I, I love anything that can hold a gift card. And I just, I, when I saw the, like I said, I, the, the other demonstrator's idea for this, um, I didn't know 
like I said, it was hard for me to understand, but I could see it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I call it the two fold card because there's a fold, there's a fold. Um, so I just, I, I just think it's really cool. And 20% off those dies until Friday. Uh, very, very great, great deal. All right, so I just wanted to show you how easy that card is. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, I will be placing an order um, myself for, for some of my customers on Friday, tomorrow. Uh, I'll go as late as possible. Um, if you go online, you can you can do it yourself, If you, you know, whatever. But if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Thanks.